Good morning, Abraham. It is. First, thank you for that. I appreciate it. So, natural, easy conversation. Why did we choose or source? Can you hear? Can you guys hear? Is this better? <laughs> really? Why did we choose emotion as the form of communication? You didn't choose emotion. Emotion is the response to vibrational frequencies. Jerry and Esther had a series of motor homes and motor coaches. They ended up in the last years with those 45 foot Prevo buses. But one of the early rigs that they were driving around at 54 miles an hour, there was a vibration in the frame of the thing that just happened at 54 miles an hour. It was a sort of response to the way the frame was welded together and the speed of the tires and it was steady and reliable and Esther's driving and Jerry's in the back and here's the reverberation and Jerry yells 54 miles an hour because it was always at 54 miles an hour that that would happen so it was a reverberation in response to some things that you would call physics of the world well you have a physical being that is really a vibrational being you are more vibration than anything else so as we said a few minutes ago that your inner being who is a large part of you even though most people don't really know that a large part of the vibrational beingness that is you is this non-physical energy that vibrates at a specific frequency in a range that you would feel or call very different it would be hard for your physicists and scientists to calibrate these high frequencies because in your human world all of your equipment is contoured to frequencies that have more resistance in them so it would be hard for you to find a piece of equipment that could really calibrate or understand or even read the frequency of this non-physical being that is you so as you do what we talked about earlier step one and you know what you don't want and therefore ask for what you do want you launch this frequency from a body of resistance into an atmosphere of no resistance where it is immediately calibrated into that high frequency that's the best way of describing it easily where it is held in non-resistance which means anytime something is held in non-resistance it's an absolute certainty that it will manifest because it is only the resistance that ever prevents anything from coming about so your desire is held by your inner being in this state of non-resistance but you still have an opinion or an attitude about it so your inner being has a frequency about said subject and you have a frequency about said subject and the way those frequencies blend together is what equals whether you reverberate in your motorhome at 54 miles an hour so sometimes the reverberation equals frustration that's the way you translate it sometimes the reverberation equals ecstasy when you are really in sync with your inner being you are so close to the vibrational frequency of your inner being and there is therefore so little perceived resistance that that's when you feel some of those emotions why do the emotions come about because you are not only a vibrational being you are a physical being and the physicality of you means you're a chemical factory so when this frequency meets this frequency it produces this chemical that feels like frustration when this frequency meets this frequency it produces this chemical creation that feels like anger when this frequency meets this frequency it produces a vibration that produces a chemical that feels like love or security or well-being so your emotions are your indicator of the mix of vibrational frequencies between you and you best question about emotions ever best answer about emotions ever because vibrations and thoughts are turning to things and since you live in a physical world isn't it a nice thing that you have the guidance system but it's not just a guidance system it's a physical manifestation of the mixture of vibrations between the whole of who you are and the being that you are allowing yourself to be in any moment in time as we had our experience with our friend here you had the options of looking at it one way or the other and the way you chose had a relationship with the way your inner being was choosing to do it 
and the way your inner being was choosing to do it is the dominant vibration in other words your inner being is not ever going to join you in your vibration if your inner being would find the same vibration that you found about something then there'd be no discord your emotion exists because of your harmony or disharmony with your inner being but your inner being will never join you in a hateful thought you're not ever going to feel good when you hate ever because your inner being's not ever going to join you we used to use this example a lot we say if you saw someone on the street bleeding we know you would go help them but when you see someone flailing about in their discord and anger often you don't want to go help them you sort of want to get away from them even though they really could use your help